Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm not 100% sure if this is truly an original idea. It's probably not, but I thought I would do kind of like a booktubers made me do it. We'll figure it out. Roll the film. <laughs> like eight to ten books I wanted to show you of books I've bought just because other booktubers are buying them so let's go ahead and get started the first book I want to recommend is actually going to be from probably 50% of the read with friends live show over at Weeby bookings channel we do this once a week I think it's going to be more on Thursday nights at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time definitely come hang out with us we love chatting with you and amongst each other talking all things books related also we read for an hour and then we come back and chat some more and it's so much fun it's literally the highlight of my week but I would say 50% of the people on the live show recommended No Exit. I've had this on my bookshelf forever. I didn't buy it because of them, but I have neglected to read this for quite some time. So I decided to go ahead and, you know, read it and it was so worth it. I think I ended up giving it four, maybe four and a half stars, but this was a really thrilling ride. You can see me on camera two shows ago where I'm just like mind blown at the ending and I would recommend this one. I know a lot of people have recommended this. Um, even Jackie over at Weeby Bookin, Gabby from Gabby Reads, Mrs. Dunn Reads. We also have Mo Mind of Molly. A lot of other people have recommended this, so definitely check this book out. The next one I wanna talk about is The Queen Herself, Kayla, over from Books and Lala. And I picked up Eight Perfect Murders by Peter Swanson. I am really intrigued by the premise of this book. This has to do with a guy who works in a bookstore and he has taken like eight famously murders from literature and made like this article or blog about it. Well, there's kind of like a copycat killer out there that's using those murders in real life. And so I think our main character has to work with the law enforcement to try to track down who's behind all these murders. So I know Kayla really loved this book, so I'm super excited to get to this one. This will be my second Peter Swanson book. So really, really excited to read this one. Next one that I want to talk about, I don't own, but I've ordered it from Amazon. So I'm literally waiting for it to come in the mail. It's going to be from a recommendation from Mind of Molly. She read this on the last live show and it's called Unfollow Me. And it's a thriller psychological novel about this family who has like this YouTube channel, I believe. And like they're very well known. And then just one day, like all their social medias just are deleted and I think it's really cool to have like a thriller aspect with today's social media and technology so I'm really really excited to read this one I'm not sure what Molly's actual rating is or even if she has rated it but she was talking about it on the live show I was like this sounds so interesting add to cart the next book I want to talk about is from my friend rain over at bruise and vines and she is doing an actual read along for the month of May to Bunny by Mona Awad. And I have heard a lot of people reading this book. I think Kayla read this book over at Books and Lala and Gabby read this book. And I think they rated it high too as well. But Rain is hosting a read along and I've been kind of semi curious about this book. I'm not 100% sure what it's about. Honestly, I think it's about a girl, I think she's in college and there's like this group of girls who like, I think everyone knows and I don't know, they're just, it's just like that click that just draws your attention and they call each other bunny and then she receives an invitation to kind of join their group and I think it turns super dark. I'm not even sure if this is, I think this is considered horror. Horror. I think Rain's channel and her video where she mentions her read along so that way you guys can get more information from there. There's a few other co-hosts as well so definitely check that out as well. The next one that I would like to talk about is Jacqueline over at Weeby Bookin. I'm sure you've heard her name before. I absolutely love her. She has recommended so many books and it was really hard to like find books I haven't A already read or B 
haven't already talked about. So I found three right here. And the first one I want to talk about is the Bromance Book Club. I love this book. This was such a good, like, I don't know. It's such a good light book that just makes your heart happy. If you haven't heard about this one, it's about this guy named Travis who's trying to stop his wife from divorcing him. And what he does is he gets with his friends and they create this book club where they read these cheesy romance books to kind of win his woman back. And it's just so heart touching. I can't say good things, like any more good things about this. So definitely check this one out. And also she recommended Darling Rose Gold, which I have already read, but I did purchase this mostly because a lot of people were talking about it, but also Jacqueline really loved this book. I think she gave it five stars, I'm pretty sure. But this one involves a woman named Rose Gold and all of her life her mother has told her she is sick and really she's been poisoning her own daughter. So her mother Patty goes to jail for five years and after she's getting out, Rose Gold decides to take her in and let her live with her. So you kind of get chapters from the past with Darling, or I'm sorry, past chapters with Rose Gold and then present chapters with Patty. And it's just like, it's not the most thrilling book, but I would, it's definitely a page turner. And the last booktuber that I wouldn't want to talk about is Gabby over at Gabby Reads. I know a lot of you have either heard or seen her videos, but she's a heavy influence on my reading taste, especially when it comes to thrillers and Stephen King. So she read Pet Cemetery. I've been wanting to get more into Stephen King, so I read this. I did a video on it. Definitely check it out. This one is about a family who moves to Maine and their house is in front of this like old, like, old town like pet cemetery and then things get crazy but she loved this book and I also loved it like I was really intimidated to read this because it is Stephen King and it's been quite a bit since I've read it I think the last book I read before this one was it and that thing was humongous but I gave this one five stars Gabby has great taste I would recommend this one too if you're looking for a beginner Stephen King in my opinion. Speaking more about Stephen King, I am currently reading 112263. Gabby did a like a reading vlog and then she did another video where she talked about the TV show on Hulu. I am not that far into it. I still have all of this to read but this book is so good and it's not a horror. It's like historical fiction, I guess you can say. Um, I guess to put this in like simple terms, it's about our main character, Jake, who actually goes back in time to stop the assassination of JFK. That's all I can really say at this time because nothing else has happened, but I love how quickly the story is going with me. Like, I feel like I can finish this before May, so fingers crossed. And then the last book that Gabby has been talking about is The Guest List by Lucy Foley. I did get this one as a book of the month. I wasn't too thrilled about this book just because I hadn't heard anything about it. And it was the only thriller pick for the month of April. So I went ahead and got it with not really expecting to get to it pretty quickly. But a lot of people, I think Gwen over at Gwen Kessinger and then Gabby has also been raving about this book and I cannot wait to get to this one. It sounds like a great like whodunit kind of clue vibes in a way but this one takes place on this remote island in Ireland and it, there's a wedding and you have you're following the bride, the plus one, the best man, the wedding planner, and the bridesmaid. All have a secret, all have a motive, but only one is a murderer. So you're trying to figure out who gets killed at this wedding. And you don't know, I think you don't find out who gets murdered pretty early on. Like, I think you have to like work your way into the story before you even find out who gets killed. So I'm really looking forward to this book. So yeah. All right, guys, that is all of the books slash booktubers that I want to talk about. If you have any recommendations on books or other booktubers that I should check out, leave those down in the comments and I'd love to check out their page. Follow me over on Instagram. It's at reading with Jess underscore. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any videos in the future. I will see you guys later. I hope you're all doing well and bye. <laughs>